hey guys just before the video starts i want to let you guys know the content will be a bit slow for the next week or two i have a lot of projects and end of semester exams coming up so i won't have as much time to record and edit i had planned on getting this video up last weekend but i ended up having to re-record some parts three or four times and also didn't have much time to edit it with college work but anyway it's done now so i hope you enjoy the video hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to dump your 3ds carts eShop titles and game saves to your pc for use with Citra, the 3DS emulator. If you haven't already set up Citra, I'll leave a link below to my setup guide. Before we start, you'll need to have installed custom firmware on your 3DS, but if you'd rather not install custom firmware, I have another video up on the channel on how to decrypt CIA files you find online so you can use them with Citra. I'll also link that down below too. Now that we've that out of the way, let's get started. First of all, you'll need to open up FBI in your 3DS and scroll down to Titles DB. From here, you're going to scroll down until you find a program called Checkpoint. As you can see, there are two copies. You want to download the second option. Click A, and as you can see, we have two options to download a CIA or a 3DSX file. The 3DSX will be a homebrew application and the CIA will install to your home menu. I'm going to install the CIA however you can choose whichever you prefer. This next part is optional but it makes life a lot easier as you can wirelessly transfer files between your 3DS and your PC. You're going to scroll down and look for FTP GMX. Once again, when you click A, you have two options, the CAA and the 3DSX. And again, I'm going to install the CAA. Now that we're back on the home menu, you'll see that we have two new applications. Once we unwrap them, we're going to go ahead and open up Checkpoint. As you can see, when I open up Checkpoint, two games with game saves show up. For this example, I'm going to be using The Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past. Click A on the game you want to create the backup save file for. Now click the left button and you can name the save whatever you want. I'm going to call it Pilot for now. As you can see, a new backup has been created. Now we can close Checkpoint and go back to our home menu. Next we'll have to reboot to 3DS, but when it's turning back on, you're going to want to hold down the start button. When you hold down the start button, you'll boot into God Mode 9. From here you're going to use your D-pad to scroll down to your C drive game card. Click A to open that up. From here, you're going to go to the title ID .trim.3ds. Click A and then go to NCSD image options. Then select decrypt file to GM9 out. This may take a while, but just wait until it's finished and click A. Press B to go back to the main menu. Now you're going to scroll up to A drive, sysnand SD. From here, use the D-pad to scroll down to title. Click A and once you're here, hold down OR and press A again to search the menu. Press A on search for titles in current folder. Once again, press A to continue. Find the file you want to dump. Click A on the game file you want and press A to open TMD file options. Using the D-pad scroll down to dump CXI slash NDS file and click A to start dumping. Once it's finished, shut down the 3DS using the right shoulder and press start. If you haven't installed FTP GMX, you're going to want to remove your SD card and put it into your computer. If you have installed FTP GMX, you're going to boot back into your 3DS and open the program. Now 
Next we're going to go over to our computer. You're going to need to download an FTP client. I'm going to be using FileZilla which I'll leave linked down in the description however you can use another program if you prefer. When you open up FTP GMX on the top screen you'll see your IP address and port. You're going to want to enter this into the correct boxes over on FileZilla. Then click quick connect and wait for the connection. Once it connects, on the left hand side of your screen you'll see your 3DS file system. From the root of your 3DS you're going to want to go to the GM9 folder and then the out folder. As you can see our two dumped game files are here. We can just select the two of them and drag and drop them over to our PC. This may take a while to download so just be patient. It took about 20 minutes for mine. Once it's finished you can see the files show straight up on my desktop. Next we're going to transfer over our game save. For this go back to the root of your 3ds SD card. From here open up the 3ds folder and the checkpoint folder. Now go to saves and as you can see the pile of game save is here. We're just going to drag and drop this folder over to our desktop just like we did with the game files. This should only take a couple of seconds to transfer once it connects. Once again as you can see the folder shows straight up on my PC. Now we're finished with the 3DS. Close out of FTP GMX and you can shut it down. Now we're going to open up Citra. From here you're going to add a new file directory to your games. As you can see the game files show up straight away in Citra. If we right click on the Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past and click open save data location it takes us to where our current game save is. If we open up the game save we transferred from our 3DS we can drag and drop that into the save data location replacing any files already in the folder. As you can see when I open a link to the past my game save shows up straight away. And that's pretty much it. If you have any other problems let me know down in the comments or you can join the discord server. If you found this video helpful be sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.